The quaint town of Buka, Ukraine, once known for its peaceful streets and vibrant community life, was a place where neighbours knew each other by name, children played in the parks, and the local markets bustled with activity. However, this serene existence was shattered and Buka became a chilling symbol of war's brutality. The once lively streets were now marked by the scars of conflict, with buildings reduced to rubble and the echoes of normalcy replaced by the sounds of destruction. Despite the devastation, the spirit of Buka's residents remained unbroken. The community, though battered, began to show signs of resilience and recovery, determined to rebuild their lives and their town. Out of the ashes of this turmoil rose a league of extraordinary women who came to be known as the Butcher Witches. These women, united by a common cause, stood together with a fierce determination to protect their homeland. Armed with grit and unwavering resolve, these brave souls took a stand against the looming threat of Russian drones. They underwent rigorous training, learning to operate sophisticated equipment and mastering the skills needed for drone defence. Their mission was clear and unwavering, to safeguard their town, their families and their homeland. They patrolled the streets, ever vigilant, ensuring that their community remained safe from aerial threats. Many of these women had never held a weapon before, yet they answered their nation's call with courage and determination. They trained tirelessly, learning military tactics and how to handle weapons, transforming themselves into formidable defenders. Driven by a fierce love for their community and an unyielding sense of duty, they chose to face the unknown. Their solidarity and determination became a beacon of hope for their fellow citizens, inspiring others to stand strong in the face of adversity. They committed themselves to learning the art of drone detection and defence, transforming from ordinary citizens into vigilant guardians. These women, now skilled in the use of advanced technology, became the first line of defence against the threats that loomed over their town. Their efforts were not just about physical defence, they also engaged in strategic planning, working together to develop tactics and strategies to counter the drone threats. Their intelligence and resourcefulness were key to their success. The Butcher Witches earned the respect and admiration of their community. Their bravery and dedication did not go unnoticed and they received recognition and support from their fellow citizens, who saw them as heroes. In moments of small victories, they celebrated together, finding joy and strength in their unity. These celebrations were a testament to their resilience and the unbreakable spirit of Buka. As they looked towards the future, the Buka witches remained steadfast in their commitment to protect and rebuild their town. Their story is a powerful reminder of the strength and courage that can arise in the face of adversity and the extraordinary impact of ordinary people united by a common cause. The transformation from homemakers to drone hunters was no easy feat. These women, some in their late 50s and 60s, embarked on a rigorous training regimen. They learned to identify different types of Russian drones understanding their capabilities and weaknesses. Days were spent mastering complex software, deciphering the language of radar and surveillance. They trained relentlessly, their determination fueled by a potent mix of fear and resolve. They braved the elements, standing guard in the bitter cold, their eyes constantly scanning the sky. They understood the gravity of their task, protecting their town from the silent threat buzzing overhead. Each intercepted drone, each piece of intelligence gathered, represented a victory against an invisible enemy. Valentina, a grandmother with a warm smile, was known in her village for her kindness and resilience. Her eyes, however, 
spoke of unimaginable pain and loss. She joined the Bucha witches after losing her son in the early days of the conflict, a tragedy that left a permanent mark on her heart. The war had robbed her of her peace, her sense of security, and most tragically, her child. The once serene village she called home was now a landscape of destruction and sorrow. But Valentina refused to let the war take anything more from her. She stood resolute, determined to fight back in any way she could. Initially, the thought of confronting technology, something so foreign to her life before the war, felt daunting. She had never imagined herself using modern gadgets, let alone in a war zone. But Valentina persevered, finding solace in the camaraderie of the group and strength in the shared purpose. The Butcher Witches became her new family, a source of support and encouragement. With each passing day, her confidence grew. She learned to navigate the complexities of the drone detection equipment, a skill that was crucial for their operations. Valentina became adept at operating the drone detection equipment, her skills surpassing even some of the younger recruits. Her determination and quick learning made her an invaluable member of the team. They took my son, she said, her voice trembling with barely suppressed rage, but they will not take my town. Her words resonated with a fierce determination that inspired those around her. Valentina's journey was not just about personal revenge. It was about protecting her community and preserving the spirit of her homeland. She began training younger recruits, passing on her knowledge and experience. The bonds she formed with her fellow Bucha witches were unbreakable. They shared meals, laughter and tears, creating a support system that was as strong as any military unit. Valentina often looked at photos of her son, reminiscing about the happier times. These memories fueled her resolve to fight, to ensure that his sacrifice was not in vain. The Buka witches were not just a group of women. They were strategists, planners and warriors. They meticulously planned their missions, each one aimed at protecting their town and its people. Valentina often led these missions, her experience and wisdom guiding the younger members. Her leadership was instrumental in their successes and her bravery was a beacon of hope. Every victory, no matter how small, was celebrated. These moments of triumph were a testament to their strength and resilience, a reminder that they were not just surviving, but fighting back. Valentina's story is one of defiance and strength. She found power in her pain, turning her grief into a force for good. Her journey is a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who refuse to be broken by war. Valentina, a grandmother with a warm smile, was known in her village for her kindness and resilience. Her eyes, however, spoke of unimaginable pain and loss. She joined the Butcher Witches after losing her son in the early days of the conflict, a tragedy that left a permanent mark on her heart. The war had robbed her of her peace, her sense of security, and most tragically, her child. The once serene village she called home was now a landscape of destruction and sorrow. But Valentina refused to let the war take anything more from her. She stood resolute determined to fight back in any way she could. Initially, the thought of confronting technology, something so foreign to her life before the war, felt daunting. She had never imagined herself using modern gadgets, let alone in a war zone. But Valentina persevered, finding solace in the camaraderie of the group and strength in the shared purpose. The Butcher Witches became her new family a source of support and encouragement. With each passing day, her confidence grew. She learned to navigate the complexities of the drone detection equipment, a skill that was crucial for their operations. Valentina became adept at operating the drone detection equipment, 
her skills surpassing even some of the younger recruits. Her determination and quick learning made her an invaluable member of the team. They took my son, she said, her voice trembling with barely suppressed rage, but they will not take my town. Her words resonated with a fierce determination that inspired those around her. Valentina's journey was not just about personal revenge. It was about protecting her community and preserving the spirit of her homeland. She began training younger recruits, passing on her knowledge and experience. The bonds she formed with her fellow Butcher witches were unbreakable. They shared meals, laughter and tears, creating a support system that was as strong as any military unit. Valentina often looked at photos of her son, reminiscing about the happier times. These memories fueled her resolve to fight, to ensure that his sacrifice was not in vain. The Buka witches were not